the greatest thrill in life. I am the gorilla grower. Let's get serious. As I walk this path in life, wisdom is what I seek. If your fountain of gorilla growing knowledge is overflowing, then please send me your gorilla growing secrets, and I will share them with the world. The female cannabis plant is the most prized possession one can have on earth. The right stuff is worth the bounty more than gold. Ounce for ounce. These pungent cannabis plants will make your mouth water, your legs wobble, and your eyes red. There is no greater thrill in life than growing your own cannabis. It is truly an education. Cannabis has a male and a female plant. The males have football-shaped balls, and the female have a little patch of hair. How simple is that? As the cannabis plant enters the dark part of its life, it starts to produce a hormone that starts to build. If the plant remains in the dark for 12 hours, this hormone builds to the point that the plant starts to flower. If the dark cycle is interrupted at all, this hormone will dissipate, and the plant will fail to flower. Wildly, you can't turn on a green light on in your grow room and not interrupt flowering. Cannabis cannot use green light. You can cut 3 to 4 inches off the top of this plant. Then pull off the bottom leaf. Stick the tip where you cut it. In rooting hormone. Stick the stem in clean dirt and in two weeks you will have another plant. You can take about 50 cuttings a week off a 3 to 4 foot 3 month old mother. If you set the plant and the cuttings outside in the spring before March 15th the mother plant will start to flower and the cuttings will start to flower but will revert to the vegetative stage and will grow all season where the mother will be done in a couple months giving you a spring crop so you can produce a spring crop but the plants have to be from seeds not cuttings and must be two months old when you sit them outside if you need to take cuttings outside then take your cuttings and sit them in the shade they will root fine be sure you have a two foot high fence around your patch the varmints love this stuff the biggest of these plants come from the equator, some reaching heights of 30 feet, and will not finish till late January in North America, which means they simply will not finish at all without light in the far north. The sun becomes so low in the sky on November 10th that photosynthesis stops in most plant life till February 10th. Then there is root release which is done from seed to bud in 8 to 10 weeks. They are about 2 foot tall and have a very low potency. There are many early finishers out there. Most are unacceptable to grow gorilla style because of their low potency. Before you run out and buy any seeds, do your homework. Find out just how potent your buds are. It's THC you are after. Life is way too short to grow 5% DHC cannabis when you can't buy 20% DHC cannabis seeds for the same price, $21.40 for 10 seeds. If you are going to grow then grow the most potent there is. When growing in the wild I look for places in the woods that an ice storm has pulled down a group of trees. Being in the woods the soil is fertile the trees usually don't die and become an unpenetrable deterrent for man and beast. If you have a hard time getting to your spot, then other people will avoid the place. People are lazy, and tend to stay on the paths, and generally do not wander into the dense sticker bushes. When growing in the woods, you can plant April 1st if you keep it high in the valley and your clones are a foot tall. When growing in a cornfield, do not plant till after the 4th of July. Any earlier than that, you risk losing your crop when the crop gets sprayed. If you are going to plant in a soybean field, you will lose your complete crop then they spray in September for weeds. 
If you know the farmer, you might be able to pay him not to spray your patch. Then you could plant one foot clones, the 1st of August, 5000 Northern Lights number 5, crossed with haze clones will produce you about 750 pounds of top-notch weed in a soybean field, which will be worth about $4,500 a pound in the metropolitan areas. Always wear gloves and put duct tape on your shoes to hide the treads. Never tell anyone you are growing. Never tell anyone where your patch is. And never show your plant to anyone. Then you can't accuse anyone if your buds come up missing. As long as no one knows, then no one will be able to rip you off. If you take one plant and place it away from your patch, and you show it to two people, then you will be ripped off. Try it and see. Never tell a soul you are growing. If you can't see out of your patch then your patch won't be spotted. Always grow the biggest your patch will allow. Skunks are generally two pound plants. But you need to come to our site to see what skunks are 5% THC or what skunks are over 25% THC. If you grew top notch skunk, you could get $6,500 a pound in the metropolitan areas. Seeds can be ordered off the internet without a problem. Just be sure you use a good seed breeder and a reputable seed bank. Not all seed banks are reputable. Some will never send you your seeds and some will send only bad seeds. If you are looking for budget seed prices on the best seeds, like a K47 or Purple Haze, from breeders like Dutch Passion, Sensi Seeds, Serious Seeds, TH Seeds and Nirvana, then check out the best prices I have found, and their stealth delivery is exceptionally good. At Seeds Boutique, the package they come in are the size of a cigarette lighter being mailed. There is not much to fear, but fear itself. There are several seed companies that will ship their wares to the United States and there is 4,000 seed strains to choose from. So how do you choose the most potent cannabis strain for your growth? How will you know if the skunk you are ordering is low potency or is it a cross that will produce a whopping 27% DHC super bug? When choosing seeds, there are a million things to consider. Some of you will seek out plants that need to be done early, and the early ones are generally not very potent at all. They do good to produce 4 ounces, so do your homework. You can get a 20% DHC plus. Done the early part of September, for a little over $21, and is an above average yield, some of you will be able to grow a 8 to 10 foot plant. And again not all 10 foot plants are potent, but there is a 23% THC, 1300 gram, super sweet haze, which is a lamb's beard Jamaican. Jamaican is considered to be very trippy, then there is a monsters, those five pound beasts. There is even the five pound indica and mumbuli madness was used in the breeding of white widow. When ordering seeds, your goal needs to be to grow the most THC and the biggest plant you can grow in your gorilla growth spot. It is not pretty that gets you medicated, it is THC. If you are going to grow, then you need to grow the absolute most potent strain you can grow. And if you are wanting to know just how potent your grow is going to be, come check out Marijuana Potency, and see a list of the world's most potent strains, and find a direct link to the strain, and seed bank you are looking for. When ordering seeds, you will need a special stamp for the United Kingdom, 94 cents. A lot of seed banks take Western Union International Money Order. You need to give them a month to get to you but they often take 14 days 